I can present something about the uh, Bavarian forest to you today, but we will stay in the mountains, um, just switching the place to the Alps. Um, I'm presenting this uh, Alpine Dairy Hut. It's been a part of my bachelor thesis uh, two years ago, and I hope you still will be interested in my topic. Uh, this is the outline. We will follow through the whole presentation. And for the beginning, I will uh, say some uh, things about the project w uh, yeah, where the building was placed into. Um, in 2007, Thomas Reitmeier from, uh, um, yeah, from Switzerland started a survey in the region of the Silvetta Alps and uh, yeah, found this building and excavated it um, in three fieldwork campaigns. Um, his aim was to, record, uh, to create a record of, hu um, of the human activities and the, env and the environmental changes in this high mountain region because um, no one ever did before. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so my bachelor thesis was based uh, uh, upon his works uh, in 2013 and yeah, so that you have a slide uh, yeah, where, where this is located. As I said in the Silvetta Alps, it's, um, this, yeah, this high mountain region is shared by Tyrol, Vorarlberg and uh, Grisons. Uh, so it's uh, on the border of Austria and Switzerland. Uh, which will be interesting uh, for the interpretation of this building. Uh, the highest point are uh, uh, over 3,000 meters, and the altitude of the fieldwork, uh, where the fieldwork took place, were over 2,000 meters, so quite an elevation. Um, yeah, here's an another um, map. We are here. Here is the border. As you can see, here is Austria, here is Switzerland. It's quite near the border. It, is, it always was, it just changed. It was, sometimes it was Austrian, sometimes it was uh, Swiss, so uh, it always had this um, location. Quite, uh, just a near view, we have here, uh, okay, ah, yeah, here. Um, we have here the excavated area and the excavated building uh, is in a complex of more buildings. Uh, which I will not uh, present today because they have not been excavated, so it's uh, pretty hard to tell something about it. Um, why it's not working? Yes. Here you can see the building I will talk about. This is um, close to the building here. It's about uh, two meters away, so it's really, uh, really quite close. And just to show you the buildings, this is another building um, in this area and these two also. Um, the only one here you can say it's more, um, um, maybe a, cell a cellar to keep the milk uh, cold. Yes, the, um, important, uh, maybe you have asked yourself why I'm presenting a post-medieval building here in the medieval section. Um, you can trace back that uh, building in the written sources back to uh, the 12th millennium and it's first mentioned um, in a book about um, a, monaster a monastery of St. Johannes Mustaya. It was the property of um, this monastery and it was uh, donated from, uh, from, the, yeah, from the lords who reigned uh, in this region. Um, it became a place of several arguments. It was um, looted and raided a lot here in the in the 13th and 14th century. Um, after this period, we only have um, several maps which documented or uh, um, which documented the the building itself. I don't know if you can see it, but. Um, it's still. It's also in the 19th century at the border, and also here at the beginning of the uh, 19th century, uh, at, the, uh, at the end of the 18th century. So it's um, also a medieval building, but 
why I'm uh, telling uh, or why I'm propo um, yeah, proposing that it's a um, post medieval building um, is because of the excavation results. The main focus was on the Alpine Dairy Hut, because, uh, as I already told. Um, the problem was the documentation was not always, uh, yeah, no strict, uh, was no strict guideline. Um, everyone did his own, <laughs> um, yeah, did his own yeah. documentation, yeah. And also the uh, problem with that, the stratigraphy can't read, uh, I was not able to retrace it. It was sometimes really hard. So we have, uh, they excavated each room separated, these two in 2008 and the last one uh, in two years, 2010 and 2011, which will be the most necessary uh, uh, part of the building. I only can say about this part of the building, um, this is this room, uh, that you have here uh, a burned layer and that, is an uh, that here is an orange brown layer which might be uh, the occupation layer when the bu uh, building was still in use. But as I said, no stratigraphy, um, uh, no stratigraphy mm -hmm. can be retraced. Um, the other room has the same, uh, has the similar um, features mm -hmm. we have here also burnt layers and wh which, uh, what was really nice in this uh, room was that they found a stone called Turner stone. Uh, it's used for uh, this thing. It's uh, where you can hang on the, uh, the kettle and turn it around from the fire to the fire and they found this stone where it was placed upon. Uh, unfortunately there is no picture or uh, drawing of this stone, uh, but they are um, yeah, evident for uh, the post-medieval time in these regions. We have in 2010, they excavated this room. This is the most necessary room. There were many finds of nails. Uh, we have a, um, a, threshold, a threshold was found there. Uh, we have even a coin, which is uh, the most necessary uh, find there, because um, as you can imagine, they only lived there in the summer, and when they moved uh, back into the valleys, they took everything with them, and so for us archaeologists, it's pretty hard to find uh, uh, ceramics or uh, more coins or something else. It's pretty hard. So a coin is quite good. <laughs> This is a picture of the threshold found there. Unfortunately, it was not uh, possible to make uh, dendrochronological dating, uh, dating with it. And as you can see on this uh, sketch, there have been several wooden plank uh, blankets, but also they uh, uh, have not fit uh, did not fit for dendrochronologic dating. Um, so the results. Um, we have in the, uh, they um, uh, dug deeper in this area uh, a year after a uh, year afterwards, and they found a ditch, which and many post holes, which uh, will be necessary for the interpretation later on. Uh, here's another picture because of the time. I will not um, say any uh, to all of it. Uh, these were the nails, um, quite common forms. So, for also for dating, quite um, um, yeah, quite difficult. Um, hope, uh, fortunately, uh, there was this uh, thing. It's called Gapse. That we uh, in the building was found. Uh, this part of it, uh, they are used to store the milk for making cheese, and. We have a similar uh, kinds of it um, in a museum in Kur from the 18th and 19th, 19th century. So um, the other finds have the same um, chronolog chronologic dating. So uh, I had the chance to get finally some 
year or dating from this uh, dairy hut. So we also found um, a metal pipe and there was also an analogy to um, a find in the Museum of Kur, again, also 18th, 19th century. And here we have this coin. It's quite desolate here. Uh, it's from the beginning of the, eight, uh, of the 18th century and uh, another fortune was that it was just used about six years and afterwards it was completely worthless. <laughs> so it's nice to have. So the, the interpretation in conclusion is um, that the Alpen Dairy Hut has been a free part building. We know this uh, style of buildings uh, since the 15th and 16th century. So also in the uh, last time of the medieval period they built this type so maybe we have um, a continuity to the uh, to the medieval times um, the northeast room with the postals um, is maybe the cheese uh, cellar uh, because uh, as, uh, as you can see here uh, the wooden blankets are used to store these gapsen on top of it and yeah maybe uh, most of the time they were cool and so it, it fitted right for the for this purpose um, the southeast room which was the room I can say nearly nothing was maybe the milk cellar um, and here with the tourna stone it was quite evident that this, uh, that this was uh, the room where uh, they made the dairy and uh, they w where the living room was, so this was quite evident. For the dating now itself, uh, as I said from the historical sources we know that it's uh, have been existing since the medieval times, but this particular building I think was built in the 18th century, used until the 19th century, um, even in some written sources it is uh, mentioned in the 20th century, but I can't trace that uh, in the archaeological finds, so my uh, interpretation is that it's from the 18th and 19th century, and it shows really good the continuity in this region. We have now, the, uh, we have um, from the Iron Age, we have this Alpine Dairy Hut, we have um, another one, uh, we have today uh, this building here, the Heidelberger Hütte, which is still used uh, also for um, pa uh, pasture land and everything, so it's a long continuity here. And uh, what I'm expecting in the future is that uh, these other well, three buildings, four buildings, uh, will be excavated so that we can get another look on the uh, findings up there in the Alps. Thank you for attending.